The brachial plexus is formed from the ventral roots C5 to T1 with small additions from C4 and T2. The ventral roots C5 and C6 unite to form the upper trunk, which continues on to become the major component of the lateral cord. The ventral root of the seventh cervical nerve becomes the middle trunk, and together with portions of the lower trunk, continues to become the posterior cord. Finally, the ventral roots of the eighth cervical nerve and the first thoracic nerve form the lower trunk, which together with portions of the middle trunk becomes the medial cord. The nerves that extend to the arm arise from the cords. The musculocutaneous nerve from the lateral cord, the medial nerve from the lateral and medial cords, the ulnar nerve from the medial cord, and finally, the radial and axillary nerves from the posterior cord. The brachial plexus passes through the interscalene groove relatively close to the surface between the scalenus anterior and scalenus medius muscles. The formation of the separate cords occurs just above the clavicle. The axillary artery is contained together with the cords in a common sheath which goes beneath the clavicle in the direction of the axilla. This neurovascular sheath should run from the deep cervical fascia to the axilla. The axillary nerve passes through the lateral axillary groove to the anatomical neck of the humerus. On a sensory basis, the nerve supplies the lateral shoulder and the dorsolateral upper arm. It also has motor fibers which innervate the deltoid muscle. The musculocutaneous nerve passes between the biceps and the brachialis muscle to the lateral arm. It supplies sensory fibers to the radial side of the forearm and motor fibers to all flexors of the upper arm. The radial nerve runs along the dorsal side of the upper arm to the epicondyle of the humerus. It provides sensory innervation of the skin on the extensor side of the arm and in part the radial side of the hand. It also supplies motor fibers to the extensors of the upper and lower arm and of the hand. The cutaneous brachial medial nerve is a purely sensory nerve. It supplies the skin on the medial side of the upper arm. The ulna nerve supplies sensory nerves to the ulna side of the hand and fingers. It also innervates some of the flexors of the lower arm and hand with motor fibers. The median nerve runs under the biceps to the cubital fossa. On a sensory basis, it supplies a part of the palm of the hand and the fingers. It also innervates a major portion of the flexors of the lower arm and the hand.